A client portal is a key ingredient for scaling your business because it streamlines your operations while it enhances your client management. As your business grows, managing an increasing number of clients and an increasing number of projects can become overwhelming and very, very time consuming. Therefore, with a client portal, it simplifies the communication, it automates routine tasks for you, and it helps to keep all your information and dealings with the customer and discussions with the customer in a centralized place, giving yourselves, your customers, and your teams 24-7 access to all of that information that is relevant to those tasks, to those services, and to those projects that you're trying to deliver on. Hence why a client portal is key to delivering high service quality and actually growing your business. Now let's take a look at what the client portal in Perfects offers. So if you're in your main system and you'd like to access the client portal, simply go into your customer view, pick your client, and then select the login as client button and automatically the client view will open up. First things first, know that the access that your client has, you've granted to them on the sides of customer levels. In our system, we grant access in the client portal in two ways. Number one, overall, we decide what a client has access to. So therefore, customers can see the projects, the invoices, the contracts, support tickets, files, and so forth. And then on a contact level, depending on what your dealings are with certain contacts at customers' places, you can therefore also further curate what contact has access to. So for example, you can have a contact that does not see anything invoices related and one that does at the same customer. So once we've gone and we've actually created our view for each contact, for each customer, every single customer will be able to access the client portal by going to a specific URL for them, entering their email address and of course their password. So it is password secured, making it very user friendly and keeping that information just between yourselves and your customers. It'll open automatically on its dashboard in which it'll greet the customer and give the customer an overview of what's going on in terms of its projects, its tickets, its invoicing, and just the start of the central hub of all activity. Then from there, your client can go ahead and he can actually look at what projects are underway so now our client can go in at any point of time and actually look at what is happening on specific projects that we are dealing uh, with them for. They can open the project. It opens up on the overview, of course. Automatically, they can see any of the tasks related to it, which is actually filed within any of the milestones that's related to those tasks. They can see if there were any specific timesheets or timed actually build against it. They can view any specific uploads or upload any specific documentation related to this project. They can start or continue any discussions between yourself and your team related to the project. They can have a Gantt view of the project. They can open or respond to any tickets specific to this project, look at any contracts and proposals related to the project, and of course, any invoices or estimates related to this project. So it's great when you have a customer where you have more than one project or more than one type of service happening with them. This gives them a space to manage all of that in. Overall, besides managing invoices just related to one project, your client can look at all of their invoices with you. They can immediately generate their own customer statement for that specific time period. And self-service helps us a lot in terms of saving times and effort. They can look at any possible contracts related 
to uh, any work that you're doing and either they could be reviewing the contract and discussing it with you uh, through the system or looking at the validity of the contracts. So uh, any estimates or proposals that you've put through and then any general support tickets or items that they've logged with you for support, maybe outside of just your normal project tasks. Further to that, your client will have access to their own calendar and then any, of course, any uploads that you've made available on your site for the client to see or that the client has uploaded for you. All your customers will have access to your knowledge base. This is where you could, in general, put helpful information that could either help them with their current projects and tasks and services that they're undertaking with you or possibly allow you to somehow advertise other projects and, and services that you have on offer. So as a recap, the client portal in Perfects starts with an overview of projects and invoicing. It therefore allows your client to go in and actually see an overview um, of any project and look at specific tasks, timesheets, um, uploads, discussions related just to that project. You can have many projects going on with you. It also allows them to look at overall all the invoices outside of the project, if they click outside of that, that they've got going on with you and your client statement. They can also look at any contracts, estimates, proposals, and general support tickets. So the big difference here is that the client can either look at um, all of these things within one specific project or look at it overall um, with the uh, client uh, in the client portal with your business. And that's what Perfects has to offer. If you currently don't have Perfects, we'd love to give you a demonstration and possibly set you up on your own instance of Perfects.